This is video number six in the series, Breathe New Life Into Your Relationship. This video is on how to upgrade your relationship with positive reinforcement. I'm your host, Jonathan Parker. Let's face it, after a while, being married or living with somebody for a length of time can become challenging or even boring because routines get old and small things that didn't bother you before start irritating you and they really can bother you. They could fester for months, in some cases even years. People think this is a sign of falling out of love, but what's really happening is that the level of pleasure and enjoyment within the marriage has just simply dissipated. The solution is actually quite simple. You renew your relationship with positive reinforcement. What do I mean by positive reinforcement and why is that important? Positive reinforcement in the context of repairing a marriage is a process of identifying the things that make you and your partner happy and actively giving these things to make the relationship happier and more satisfying. Both parties need to accept the need for this process to make it work. This type of effort has to be reciprocated in order for it to work effectively. If only one party is only interested in this, then if there's no reciprocation, it just really doesn't work very well. And in fact, it could even become more resentful or hostile because it's simply not fair for one person to be putting all the effort into it and find them not valued by the other person. So since this is a joint effort, things have to be planned out and mapped out in advance. Now, here's a, a simple blueprint to uh, renew this uh, journey that you're on with your relationship. First of all, you've got to figure out what makes your life and what your, makes your partner happy. So you want to make a list. So you begin writing down. It's something that you talk together about and you make the list out together. We're not talking about expensive vacations or things that cost a lot of money. They're, they're nice, but that's not what I'm talking about. Focus on simple things. It could be something like uh, setting up a date night twice a month. Uh, you want to alternate who comes up with the idea for the date. You know, the majority of married couples are relatively easy to please, and the things they seek in the marriage are pretty easy. It's not so much a matter of spending money as spending time together. So list as many things as you can so you can have multiple options when it comes putting things into action. Take several days to complete this list. You don't have to figure it all out today. Talk to your partner about it. Ask your partner to come up with ideas and contribute to it. What would be fun for us to do together? And come up with as many ways of pleasing your partner as you can. Select as many things on your list as possible and start making a plan and implementing it and how to do it. Secondly, make a list of what pleases you. Since you started the process, it's fine to inform your partner of what makes you happy. Present your list to your partner and ask them to make out a list and give it to you. Talk about things that you both enjoy doing. Remember to use that active listening method that I talked about on video two. And the final step is to receive and appreciate your, your partner's efforts. Show your appreciation, show your happiness, be grateful. Remember before this whole process started, you were probably ignoring a lot of issues and so it's going to take some time to address all those concerns. So be patient with each other. Apologize when needed. Keep applying yourself to doing whatever is going to breathe new life into the relationship. I know you can do that. I have a lot more information on relationship building on my website, keepourlove.com.